Now let's take a look at the question. Which hormone stimulates the synthesis and secretion of glucocorticoids? The options are ACTH, which stands for adrenocorticotrophic hormone. Option B, MSH, which stands for melanocyte stimulating hormone. Option C, triiodothyronine, which is also known as T3 hormone. And TSH, which stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. So we have to find out which of the hormones in the given options is involved in stimulating the synthesis as well as secretion of glucocorticoids. Now, what are glucocorticoids? Glucocorticoids are a type of steroid hormones that are produced by the adrenal cortex. Now, the adrenal gland is uh, a pair of glands that is located on top of our kidneys. Okay, so renal means kidney. Adrenal glands are located on top of our kidneys. And the adrenal gland has two parts. The outer region is known as the cortical region and the inner region is known as the medulla. So the adrenal cortex is what is responsible for the production of glucocorticoids. For example, cortisol. Okay, so we have to find out which of the given options uh, stimulates the adrenal cortex to synthesize glucocorticoids. Okay, so I'll tell you how exactly uh, the uh, adrenal cortex is triggered or signaled to produce glucocorticoids. So cortisol is primarily a stress hormone. It is produced uh, when we are stressed. Okay, so generally it's produced then, but it also has a variety of other functions like metabolism of glucose and all of that. So whenever there is any stress, the hypothalamus will produce a hormone known as CRH. CRH stands for corticotropin releasing hormone. Now, when hypothalamus secretes CRH into the bloodstream, the pituitary gland, the anterior pituitary specifically, CRH will act on the anterior pituitary and it will stimulate the anterior pituitary to produce a hormone known as ACTH. ACTH, like I already told you, stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone. So, it's already clear from the name, right? Adrenocorti is referring to adrenal cortex. So, adrenocortico is uh, referring to the adrenal cortex. So, when uh, ACTH is produced by the anterior pituitary, it will stimulate the adrenal cortex to synthesize as well as secrete glucocorticoids such as cortisol. And then cortisol, uh, after being secreted into the bloodstream, will help, you know, uh, deal with the stressful situation. I repeat, hypothalamus during stress uh, will produce a hormone called CRH. CRH stands for corticotropin releasing hormone. This will act on the anterior pituitary. It will stimulate the anterior pituitary to produce ACTH which stands for adrenocorticotrophic hormone. Now ACTH will further act on the adrenal cortex and it will stimulate the adrenal cortex to secrete glucocorticoids like cortisol. Okay, so the correct answer to this question is ACTH. Other options we had are MSH, triiodothyronine or T3 and TSH. MSH stands for melanocyte stimulating hormone. This is a hormone that is also produced by the anterior pituitary. Its function is to act on the melanocytes that are present in our skin and uh, it regulates the skin coloration. Okay, so T3 is also known as triiodothyronine. This is produced by the thyroid gland. It regulates the metabolism in our body. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. This is produced by the anterior pituitary. It will act on the thyroid gland and stimulate the thyroid gland to release T3 and T4. Okay, so here we were asked which hormone stimulates the synthesis and secretion of glucocorticoids. Now we know that the correct answer is ACTH, which is option A. Here's the question. The pineal gland secretes DASH. The options are melatonin, thyroxine, somatostatin, and gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is abbreviated as GNRH. So among the options, we have four different hormones and we have to find out which one of those is secreted by the pineal gland. Okay, so the pineal gland is an endocrine gland that is located in the dorsal region of our forebrain. So it's located on the dorsal side of our forebrain. It secretes one hormone and that is known as melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that is involved in the regulation of the sleep-wake cycle and it controls the diurnal rhythms of our bodies. So here is where the pineal gland is located. It is present on the dorsal side of our body. Dorsal refers to uh, the backside. So it's present at the dorsal side of our forebrain. Now the other options include thyroxine. 
Thyroxin is also known as tetraiodothyronin. It is a hormone that is produced by the thyroid gland. It is involved in regulation of body metabolism. Okay. And then somatostatin and gonadotropin releasing hormone. These were the other two options. Both of these hormones are released by the hypothalamus. Okay. Both of them are released by the hypothalamus. Both of them act on the anterior lobe of the pituitary. One of them is a releasing hormone and will stimulate the uh, anterior pituitary to produce a hormone. Whereas the other one is an inhibiting hormone. It will inhibit the anterior pituitary from uh, producing and releasing their hormones. Okay. So somatostatin is the inhibiting hormone. It will act on the anterior pituitary and it will inhibit the anterior pituitary from releasing the growth hormone. Whereas gonadotropin releasing hormone, it will act on the anterior pituitary and will stimulate it to release uh, and synthesize gonadotropins such as FSH and LH. Okay, so that is the function of somatostatin and GnRH. So in the question, we were asked uh, which hormone is secreted by the pineal gland. Now I'm sure you know that it is melatonin. Therefore, the correct answer to this question is option A. Here's the question. The pineal body is located in dash. The options are the dorsal side of the forebrain, the cella tersica, the basal part of the diencephalon in the forebrain, the back side of the thyroid gland. So here we are asked to find out the location of the pineal gland. Pineal body uh, is also known as the pineal gland and it is located in our forebrain. Okay. So more specifically, the pineal gland is located on the dorsal side of the forebrain. Dorsal here refers to the back side. Okay. So this is our dorsal side and this is the ventral side. When you're looking at the forebrain part of the brain, this pineal gland can be found on the dorsal side. So it's slightly towards the back side. Okay. So here uh, is where you can find the pineal gland. So this is the front side and this is the back side. You can see how it is slightly dorsal in the forebrain. And it is involved in the secretion of a hormone known as melatonin that will regulate the diurnal rhythm and the sleep-wake cycle in our body. Okay. So... Cella tersica. This was one of the options. Cella tersica is a bony cavity that is present in the sphenoid bone of our skull. Okay. So it is within this uh, bony cavity that the pituitary gland is present. So cella tersica is the location of the pituitary gland and not the pineal gland. So the pituitary gland I'm sure is known as the ma master gland. It is involved in secure, uh, you know, secretion of various hormones that further will control the activity of other endocrine glands like the ovaries, the testes, the thyroid gland, the adrenal cortex, etc. Since it is involved in controlling the activities of various other glands, it's known as the master gland. So here you can see this is the bony cavity uh, which is present in the skull and within that you find the pituitary gland. Now talking about the basal part of the diencephalon in the forebrain. So this was one of the options. So at the basal part of the diencephalon region in the forebrain, we find the hypothalamus. Okay. So hypothalamus is involved in the secretion of several hormones that will regulate the activity of the anterior pituitary gland. Okay. So the back side of the thyroid gland, this was also one of the options. This is the location of the parathyroid glands. There are four parathyroid glands present behind uh, the uh, thyroid gland at the back side of the thyroid gland. They are involved in secretion of a hormone known as parathyroid hormone, which is abbreviated as PTH. So this butterfly shaped gland is the thyroid gland. At the back side, you can see four glands. These are the parathyroid glands. Okay. So the pineal gland's location is the dorsal side of the forebrain. So the correct answer to this question is option A. Here's the question. Lobes of the thyroid gland are connected by dash. The options are parafollicular cells, follicular cells, isthmus and option D, none of the above. So where is the thyroid gland located? The thyroid gland is located just below the larynx on top of our windpipe, which is also known as the trachea. The thyroid gland is butterfly shaped. Okay, so it has two wing like structures that are known as the two lobes and they are connected by a central structure, which we call the isthmus. Okay, so the thyroid gland is located in the neck in front of the windpipe. It consists of two lobes, which are located on either sides of the trachea. These two lobes are connected by a structure which is known as the isthmus. Okay, 
So the other options we had in this question include follicular cells and parafollicular cells. Now what are these? These are two different types of cells that are found within the endocrine gland, that is the thyroid gland. So the follicular cells are involved in synthesis and secretion of two hormones, thyroxine or T4 hormone, which is also known as tetraiodothyronine, and T3 hormone, which is also known as triiodothyronine. And the parafollicular cells are involved in the secretion of a hormone known as calcitonin. Okay, so that is about follicular and parafollicular cells. In this question, we were asked what connects the two lobes of the thyroid gland. The correct answer to this question is option C, isthmus. Here's the question. Choose the incorrect statement with respect to the hormone melatonin. The options are melatonin plays a very important role in the regulation of a 24-hour or diurnal rhythm of our body. Option B, iodine is essential for the normal rate of synthesis of melatonin in the pineal gland. Option C, it helps in maintaining the normal rhythms of the sleep-wake cycle. Option D, it influences metabolism, pigmentation, the menstrual cycle as well as our defense capability. Okay, so there are four statements provided in the options about the hormone melatonin and we have to find out which one of those is incorrect. Okay. So the hormone melatonin is produced by the endocrine gland called the pineal gland which is located in the dorsal part of our forebrain. There are various functions that is performed by the hormone melatonin, some of which are regulating the diurnal rhythm of our body that includes the sleep-wake cycle. So in a 24-hour day, uh, we on an average generally spend about 8 hours in sleep and the remaining 16 hours we uh, you know engage ourselves in other activities so all of that is controlled by the melatonin hormone it is also known as the hormone of darkness because it's produced only during the dark so as uh, towards the late evening that is when melatonin uh, production will get stimulated and that is what you know puts that puts, puts us in a sleepy mood so yeah, that is how it regulates the sleep-wake cycle. Apart from that, it has various other roles like uh, it is involved in metabolism, pigmentation, menstrual cycle and also uh, it plays a role in the defense capability of our body. So these are some of the other functions that is performed by the melatonin hormone. So what uh, is not correct about melatonin is the uh, need for iodine for its synthesis okay so iodine is a very important requirement in our diet because iodine is essential for the synthesis of thyroid hormones like thyroxine but melatonin even if there's iodine deficiency there's no uh, role that it plays on the synthesis of melatonin so that statement was incorrect so option a melatonin plays a very important role in the regulation of a 24 hour or diurnal rhythm of our body that is correct Iodine is essential for normal rate of synthesis of melatonin in the pineal gland. This is incorrect because iodine is not required for melatonin synthesis. It's in fact required for synthesis of thyroid hormones. It helps in maintaining the normal rhythms of the sleep-wake cycle. That also is correct. It influences metabolism, pigmentation, the menstrual cycle as well as our defense capability. This also is correct. Since in the question we are asked to find out which statement regarding melatonin is incorrect, the correct answer to this question is option B.